Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So what I'm going to do in the next series of videos, I don't know how many it will take me, maybe two or three, is talk about a favorite management game called Whack-A-Mole. And uh, you remember the, the game in the arcade where a mole sticks up his head and you whack it down, another sticks up and you whack that one down, another goes up and you whack that one down, and you keep whacking these moles. Well, we play this game in management where we have a problem in one area, it might be product quality, so we swoop over there and pay attention to there and invest there and then service acts up and then product features acts up and then customers are dissatisfied and sales morale acts up and so we're constantly playing whack-a-mole with our time, with our resources, with our attention and, um, and obviously that's not great uh, but it's a part of life and uh, uh, actually, it doesn't really need to be, but it's, it's, it's a very popular uh, activity in leadership. And I thought I would use that activity to uh, dive into the system dynamics of this particular situation. Maybe not to gain incredible insight, though that might be, uh, that might be helpful, but to learn system dynamics against something that uh, we're all familiar with. Okay, great. So, um, first I'm going to talk about... Uh, uh, we're going to do kind of the regular old balancing loop, which is I have a problem, I solve the problem, things are back on track again. So it's like train goes off the rails, you do something and it back on, on the rails, which is a typical balancing loop. So let's say you have a result. This might be performance on financials or product quality or something uh, like that. Um, and let's say you have a let's say you have a goal, so you have a financial goal and a financial result, and there is a gap. Okay, so the gap being the goal minus the result. And that gap, if there is a gap, and depending on the size of the gap, will encourage management attention, let's say. And that management retention might be your time, your resources, your best people, money, whatever. So a manager kind of swoops in and helps out, and that improves the result. So this is a typical balancing loop. Uh, sometimes balancing loops are called goal-seeking loops uh, because they always have a goal, implied or not. They always have a gap, potentially and then it drives some action to get the result back to the goal. Okay, so that's the balancing loop. Okay, so um, uh, let's, let's talk about the uh, positive and negatives on, uh, on loops. We haven't focused this, uh, on this too much in prior videos, uh, but I wanted to uh, go through that as well. So the way to do that is you say an increase in the result does what to the gap? An increase in the result will lower the gap. Okay, so if your financials are better, that's going to lower the gap between the results and the and the goal, presumably. So an increase, and then and then you keep going around the circle. An increase in the gap will mean a increase in management attention, and an increase in management attention will give you an increase in the result. Okay, so it is also a balancing loop because there, there's an odd number of, uh, of minus signs here, basically. Okay, so you've got one minus sign, two pluses, that makes it a balancing loop. If they were uh, an even number of minus signs, this would be a reinforcing loop. Okay, and then uh, if there's an increase in the goal, that's going to cause an increase in the gap, just to finish off this, this thought. Okay. So this is, uh, this is loop number one, and Whack-A-Mole has two loops because you have the result along this dimension, and then you have a result along another dimension. This might be product, the other thing might be service. So let's draw the other loop now. Here you have a different result, I'll call this result B, and that is compared against goal number B. And that will give you a gap. 
The gap will affect management attention. And management retention, more management attention, will uh, drive up the result. So this is the second balancing loop, which is identical to this one. And the way that these two are, and we can do the signs again, increase in the result is a decrease in the gap. Increase of the gap is increase in attention. Increase in attention is increase in results. The higher the goal, uh, the higher the gap. Yep. Okay. And then the way these two loops are connected is that the more time and attention and resources and money you spend here, the less you spend here, and vice versa. So, and, so there's a link here. An increase in management attention here will be a decrease here. So that's the essential whack-a-mole game. Your spending time here draws away from this. The results diminish here, so you move your way back here, and the results erode here. And so we'll model this to to actually see it, uh, see it happen. So those are the causal loop diagrams uh, related to each other. Now the last thing I'm going to do, we do causal loops, then we do behavior over time, over time graphs. So let's do the, the, the behavior over time graph. So it's time along this dimension. And let's just graph the two results. Okay? So results a, we'll do in green, this first result. And uh, let's say it starts out poor, so you apply management attention to it, and the results improve, and then you focus elsewhere, and the results erode, and then you put attention back on it, the results improve, etc. Okay? And then um, and let's do this result, B in black, and so let's say B starts out well, but as you're pulling attention away to solve this problem, B declines, then uh, when that's good, you can focus on this one again, B again. This goes up, then down, then up, then down. So hence the game whack-a-mole. One thing is always good, the other is always bad, so you shift your attention back and forth. Okay. So in the next video, we'll go through the stock and flow diagrams. We'll actually do a model and figure out whether it actually looks like that. Okay, talk to you soon.